Hi everybody, today we're making a paper mache solar system. So first of all, we need our balloons. You'll need nine different balloons because we're going to do our eight planets and our sun. So first of all, let's see how big our balloon can get and then we'll know how big to make the other planets because we're going to need to make the planets relatively the shapes that they are. So if Mercury's this big, Venus is a little bit bigger, Jupiter's this big. So let's start with the sun to see just how big our balloon can get. So we'll just blow it up. Okay. You'll see that if you blow a balloon big enough, it starts to get this weird kind of egg shape. We don't want it to be like that. We want it to be a circle. So let's let some air out. Okay, that looks more like a circle. You can let even more out. So let's say this is as big as our balloon's gonna be. This is our sun. What that means is all the rest of them have to be smaller. So here's our sun. Let's set the sun aside. This will be Mercury. So Mercury is tiny, tiny. Okay, mine's, it's not really a circle. Okay, let's call this one Mercury. So the sun is so much bigger than this, but we don't have a balloon the size of this whole room or else I could make it that big and show you the sun. So here's our Mercury. Next is our Venus, a little bigger than Mercury. Here's our Earth, which is bigger than Venus. Now we have Mars which is smaller than Earth. Now I've made Jupiter as big as it can be, just like I did with the Sun, even though the Sun's bigger than Jupiter. And then Saturn is going to be in between the size of the Earth and Jupiter. See, it's like a small, medium, large. Uranus is just a bit smaller than Saturn, and Neptune is tiny again, just like Mercury was. So now that I have all the planet balloons, we're gonna start paper macheting them. Please make sure you have a paper towel down for your mess because it's going to get super messy with our paper mache. So I have cups, um, different size cups. Maybe it's best to use plastic ones for the mess, but make sure you have a cup that can hold the bottom of your planet. And this is a place for the planet to stay as it's drying because it'll need to stay up. So I have here my sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. The next thing we'll need to do is mix the glue for our paper mache. So we're going to need equal parts glue and water. What that means is as much glue as we put in, we're going to put the same amount or close to the same amount of water. So that looks about right. Maybe I put a bit too much water, we'll see. So we're gonna mix it up nicely. We want it to still be sticky, but to be so liquid that we can dip our newspaper in. This looks good to me. See how it's sticky, but it also is watery at the same time. What we'll need now is a whole bunch of newspaper, and we're going to cut it up into thin strips. So just take newspaper. We can always cut a little bit, make some planets then go back and cut more if you need it. So you don't have to cut it all up right now. But basically, you wanna go ahead and cut them into strips. And then I would say, make them this big. And just do this with a bunch of strips. Now that we have our glue, our newspaper, and our balloon planets ready, let's go ahead and start paper macheing. So the whole idea of paper mache is that we take a newspaper strip, we soak it in this mixture we've made, 
then we scrape off the edges so it's not too liquidy and we layer strips of newspaper and we just pat it down make sure it's nice and covered and straight we don't want too many wrinkles in our newspaper so what we do is we keep layering pieces of newspaper um, until we've covered the whole balloon and then after that we're gonna go over all over again to make sure it's nice and thick so it might help to hold it while you do it um, until it gets to a point where you can't hold it anymore and then we can put it back in the cup but it's a bit easier and then once we get to this point we can put it back in the cup but for now I'm just gonna cover it by holding it with my hands So as you can see, um, you make it a little bit messy. You don't want them all going one way. You want them to go over top of each other in different directions. So I placed one down that way. Now I'll just place one down over top of it a different way. And I like to smooth out the glue every single time. So get it, it all gets coated. Okay, I think I have one more here. If you want to make it super strong and thick, you do two layers after the first layer is dried. So this would be the first layer. And you're gonna do this for all your planets. Okay, now, as we wait for it to dry, we just wanna go around and press any of the sides that are sticking out. We don't want corners on our round planet, although it does give it texture, so it's okay. Okay, so we put this part of the balloon that isn't painted with, uh, sorry, not painted, that isn't covered with newspaper. We put it down into the cup and there, our sun can dry there. And let's go ahead and do all of these planets. Here are all the paper mache planets finished. Now, as you can see, there's something missing. If you remember, one of the planets is supposed to have a ring on it and that's Saturn. So let me show you how to do a paper mache ring now before we let our planets dry. So let's go ahead and grab our Saturn. And we're gonna be doing the same thing we've been doing this whole time, except first we're going to soak it as we always do. Soak it really nice. And then we're going to twist it until it's tight. It can be messy and we're going to stick it, hold it down for a little bit, stick it onto our Saturn. And I'm gonna keep doing this. It will be very hard to get this to be perfect when you're using a uh, newspaper that has all these wrinkles, so it's okay, as long as from the side, it's looking like a ring. We're going to put this ring all the way around our Saturn. So I'll just soak another one. Twist it up. Put it where the end of that one is. Press it down so it stays. Here's my Saturn. So you can keep building these rings if you'd like, but they just fall off so easily. So for me, I'm just gonna do one layer and maybe I'll do another layer later. I find that you really need to soak these pieces for them to stick on. And um, once we paint these, they'll show up better too because we're gonna do a light yellow and then this is gonna be a darker yellow. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to paint these. Um, It'll look like it's happening right after because you're watching one video, but in real life, it's going to be the next day that I paint them because these need to dry. So overnight, all of my planets dried really well. They became quite solid and ready for painting. So um, I'm going to gather all the colors that I'm going to need for my planet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. The first color I have, I'm going to do Saturn first because this one looks the most fun to me. I wanna see how the ring looks. So I have this pale yellow. If you have yellow, you can add white to it to get this color. And this color is going to be what the base is. So I have my paintbrush. 
some paper towel, of course. I'm going to go ahead and just paint. It'll, uh, unless you do a white base coat, it'll always look a little bit funny with this newspaper coming through, but that's okay. You can do more layers of paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my entire Saturn with this pale, pale yellow. Okay, now that I've done all of my Saturn, it's time to do the ring. So the ring's a darker kind of golden yellow. So I have this gold here. And I'm just going to brush the ring. It's a little difficult because of how wrinkly it is. So I'm gonna brush my whole ring to be this color. Here's my finished Saturn with its rings. There's still some newspaper peeking through, but I think it makes it look kind of cute and crafty. So I'm going to leave it in its cup to dry now, as I'm going to do with all the planets before we do anything else with them. The sun is easy. It's just bright yellow. Let's let that one dry too. For Mercury, I'm just doing this silvery gray. And here's my Uranus and my Neptune. Well, my Venus is this orangey color that I put some red into as well and my Mars is just a bright bright red so for Jupiter here I have painted it orange and what I'm going to do now is just do white stripes really messily like this again not so perfect because the white stripes are actually something in the atmosphere, so it's not going to be like a line, it's something like uh, air moving around. Something like that. And I'll just keep going around. And here's my Jupiter. I have my little sister, who's a great artist, helping me paint the Earth. Show them what you're doing. So you're gonna to wanna to take, uh, it doesn't have to be too perfect, just take some green over the top of the blue to make the shapes roughly of the continents. There's South America there. North America. Now I have all of my planets here and I'm just gonna let them all dry completely before we do the next step. So once your planets have dried, what you're going to need is a spool of string. We're going to need a lot of string. A skewer or a pencil, something sharp to poke the balloon inside the planet and to poke a hole at the top of the planet and you're going to need scissors to cut the string. So this is why it was important to do two coats of paper mache if you want it to be thick and maintain its round shape because once we pop the balloon the paper is going to start caving. But you can go ahead and pop the balloon inside your planets. I'm going to do it. So if it starts caving just Pick it back up. There we go, see my balloon's gone. And I'm going to poke a hole in one of the sides. So stick your finger into this hole and don't poke where your finger is, poke beside it. You can have a parent help you with this. And what you're going to do is just poke a hole, just a small hole. Now the next thing we're going to do is thread our string through this hole like so. Now let's tie a knot. And then we're going to cut, let's leave about a ruler's length. Oh, hi, my cat. He wants to do the craft too. Let's leave about a ruler's length of string. We'll cut it. And now I have, this is my Venus. It's going to hang on my solar system. I just learned a trick. If you don't like popping your balloons, I don't. I find it scary. Something you can do is actually cut the top of the balloon. This is probably safer. So you just cut it. And it makes a funny sound. There you are. Here's my sun. So I'll just go ahead and poke 
string through. Have a parent help you find somewhere in the house you can hang a string from, from one end to the other. And then you're going to go ahead and tie the tops of these strings that we made one after another. So I'll give you a look at my planets. We have Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And this is a nice decoration for the home. I hope you enjoyed making the solar system craft with me and please share any pictures you have of this solar system with us. We'd love to see them.